Hello everyone, today we're gonna see how to turn on and off the helicopter by pressing one key. So here I can see I have control of the helicopter in front of me. If I press G, it's gonna start the helicopter and when it's rotating fast enough, I will be able to go up. So now I'm going up and if I press again G, I won't be able to turn off the helicopter it's just a safety way to make sure that you know we can't turn off the helicopter in the sky you can try by yourself and you'll see later that um, it's not doing very well when you do this so we're gonna have to go all the way down to the floor or the ground basically to be able to turn off the helicopter once again so we're gonna quickly see how to do this action so we'll catch you back in the project here we are in the project. As you can see, it's exactly where we left off with our helicopter that we can fully control. As you can see now, if we press play, it's turning by itself. It's not what we want. So we want to have control over that. So let's do this. So the first thing uh, that we want to do is obviously we need to implement the controls on our keyboard to do this. So we're gonna go to our inputs folder and as you can see here, we have all the control for our helicopter here. So we're just gonna create an extra one. So we're gonna right click in the content browser. We're gonna go to input and we're gonna know input action. And we're gonna respect the same uh, writing that we did there, IA underscore illy underscore and it's gonna be on and off. And here we're just gonna go and open it. As you can see here, it's already set up the way we want because we want an action key. So it's exactly what we have here, true or false. So we're going to save this and close this. We're going to go back to our input here and we're going to go to our input action to implement that so we can use that key. We have all our previous key that we did before. So we're going to create another mapping by clicking on the plus. And here we are going to select our new uh, action key that we just created so it was ai underscore helicopter and it was the turn on and off so we're going to select this and here we're going to assign the key that we want to do this so i'm just going to click on the keyboard here and i'm going to press g so i can have the key that i want to start on and shut off my helicopter at the same time so we're going to save this and we can exit here we're going now to um, create the little logic inside the helicopter so we can click on our helicopter here and here in the outliner we can just click on exit for our blueprint so when we are in the blueprint it's what we did before so just here to uh, the left we're gonna start doing our little logic to have our helicopter being able to turn on and off by a key first we're gonna right click on the board here and we're going to search for that event that will create us. So it's why IA underscore illy, and it was the turn on and off. So we're gonna select this. So from that, we are going to create a custom event. So we're just gonna create a custom event right next to it. So just search for custom event. We're gonna add, and we're gonna call this uh, our start engine. So just start engine. And here we're going to do our code, but before starting the code here, when we press the key, we want to call this. So we're just going to go from trigger here and we're going to search for start and join. So when we press the key, it's going to refer to the code right here. So from here, we're going to drag from it and we're going to search for flip flop. So when we're going to press one, it's going to do one of the code. And when we press again, it's going to go to B. And we're going to do another portion of the code. So from that now we need a boolean to say that our helicopter is going to be on. So we're going to go here under the variables and we're going to click on the plus and we're going to call that engine on and I'm going to put an exclamation mark and I'm going to take this and I'm going to plug it right to our A. And I'm going to make sure that it's checked to be say that it's it's true. So I'm just going to move that a little bit out of the way so we have a little bit more space. From here, so when our helicopter 
we press its start, we want to make sure that we can remove the end brake because our helicopter, I think by default, have the end brake. We have end brake here, so we have this. We want to make sure that this is not on when we start the helicopter. So we're just going to do a reference to our vehicle movement here. Gonna drag that on our board. We're gonna drag from that, and now we are able to set the end brake input. I'm gonna plug those two together and make sure that this is unchecked. So now we're gonna do the other portion of the code. So from B here, when we press, we're gonna go to a branch, and that branch will have a condition here that we're gonna do in a few minutes. It's gonna be the condition that if we're high enough in the sky, we won't be able to shut up the helicopter. And if we're close enough from the ground, we will be able to turn off the helicopter. So from the branch here, we're just gonna drag and we're gonna put our set engine. So we're gonna take our set engine on. So if it's true, well, we want to make sure that the engine is no longer on and that our end brake here are back in service. So we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna put it down there. I'm gonna make sure that it's checked. So now our end brake will be there again. We'll make sure that our helicopter, it's not moving by itself. So here is gonna be our code to make sure that we're far out, not far out, but we can't turn off the helicopter when we are in the sky. So the first thing that we want is get our actor. We're gonna make sure that we have the location of our actor. So get actor location, which gonna to refer to self, which is this blueprint, which is this helicopter. So we're gonna go back here on event graph and get actor location. We're gonna search for a plus. So just type plus on the keyboard. We're gonna do an add. And we're gonna drag again from that. And we are also putting an add there. So we're gonna have two plus. So the first one will be how far or how close from the ground that we want to be. So we're gonna put in the Z value because the Z value is the one that go up and down. We're gonna put minus 50 because we want to be close as possible from the ground. Uh, sorry, we're going to put 50, not minus, we're going to put 50. And on the other one, we want to put a number that will refer to how close we need from the ground. So this one will be minus 10. So if we're 10 on uh, unreal unit close from the ground, we'll be able to shut off our helicopter. And no more than... 50 that will be able to uh, shut it off as well or on. So you will see exactly what I mean in a minute. So to do this, we are going to take a line trace. So we're going to take a line trace by channel. So what we're going here, instead of connecting the branch, we're going to drive from B and we're going to search for line trace. I'm going to take the one by channel and now we need the start will be right here and the end will be right here. And from this, we need the actor to in your. So we want to make sure that we can in your ourselves uh, just for safety purposes. So we're going to drive from this and we're going to make an array. And from the array, we'll be able to call self. So here we're going to drag the debug type so we're going to do for uh, duration and we want the duration to be five seconds so we can see what's happening i'm going to make sure that the return value of both are connected so basically what it's doing for us when we press the key it's going to call this custom event which is going to go first through the flip-flop under a that we see here it's going to turn the boolean for our engine on and it's gonna make sure that the end brake are removed. When we press again, if we are close enough from the ground, we will be able to basically go through the next, um, not through, but we'll be able to go through the code. It's gonna go through this branch. And if it's this, it's true. So if the return of this say that we're close enough from the ground, we are going to go through true. 
it's gonna shut off our engine so the boolean by doing so it will shut off our helicopter and we are able to apply the end brake here so if we try that it's not going to be working right away because we're going to have to implement this in our code to make sure that it, the helicopter it's not starting by itself so we're just going to do it now so you can see at least the line trace going down and you will see exactly what i mean so if we press play the helicopter start by itself for now because it's not fully completed but if we go up technically we shall see the line trace as you can see here that we just saw a little bit earlier we're going to try to stabilize that thing here went a little bit too crazy on it so if i go up we saw it at the beginning the line trace now we don't see it anymore so we're just going to continue our code here so from that we're going to have to implement that boolean somewhere so here on event tick you see we start using our rotator so here if we take our engine and we put the boolean sorry not the set but we're gonna, just going to drag and drop right here to get and we're going to put a branch here and we're going to go there so if it's true that the engine is on we'll be able to go through the code and have all blade turning otherwise it won't work so if we try that again let's do that once more you can see the helicopter now it's not moving by itself and if we press the key that we selected so g in my case the helicopter start but you can see here here we go so it's starting now and i can do the same thing the end brake just release so i can go forward so i'm going up and if i go around here if i press again you can hear i can't shut off the helicopter so we're going to go all the way down again you can see the line trace when i press all right you see i need to be that close from the ground so we're going to go there and when i'm on the ground and press again she'll be able to turn off uh, the helicopter so you can play with those value here so we're going to go back down here so we can play with those value because here it's only minus 10. So if you want a little bit more room, uh, just for able to see it, I'm going to put minus 50 here. So we're going to start and we're going to start our helicopter. Come on, let's go. Here we go. And so we can see the line here. So I'm going up. If I press to shut it off, you see it's doing a line a little bit bigger than before but it's not working yet because I'm not far uh, close enough from the ground. So I have to go all the way down. And here, if we press this time, the helicopter will turn off by itself. Here we go. So obviously now uh, it's just snapping on and off. We're gonna fix that later, but for now we have this implemented. So I will catch you uh, on the next one.